What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. And welcome back to another versus slash story time video where I take on the hardest contents in the global version of the game. And sometimes we do a little bit of story time at the end, uh, towards the end of the video. In today's video though, we are going to take a look at the mechanized sentry uh, raid Lufinia fight, which is basically Cloud's LD slash BT raid uh, Lufinia. So yeah, uh, before we do start, like and subscribe. If you haven't already, it does help the channel and I really do appreciate it if you do. And of course, Happy New Year to you guys. I hope you had a wonderful New Year. Uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So as you guys know, I'm still a night shift. So not really much of a celebration for me uh, I did spend some time with the family on the eve. So yeah uh, Anyway, let's start this video off as always uh, With the fight itself. Let's talk about the fight itself So for this one my team consists of cloud. We got root and Kurosame now it may be a little bit meta but I do want to use the latest characters as much as possible. I mean, they're new characters for a reason and you do want to use new characters most of the time. So uh, when my cloud has his LD, of course, if you guys have watched my pull video, you know that I do have his LD. Now I did get his burst weapon later down the track um, with a couple of more tickets. Uh, actually, so but I didn't really see any reason to redo the fight with his burst weapon uh, It just was just gonna make the fight so much easier, but you do not need his burst to do this fight uh, Rood is a great battery healer um, And does a, a lot of damage as well and then Kurosami of course just for added damage I think if anything Kurosami is probably the character here that is pretty replaceable in my opinion um you can definitely go for a gladio you know just make things um you know i guess easier in a way because he's he's still pretty powerful being able to counter and stuff is always good but the thing is you probably won't be doing a lot of countering in this fight there, there are definitely cases where you will um, but for the most part, the idea here is to actually paralyze the bosses, um, uh, uh, I guess when they're on their recast ability or when their orb is, you know, uh, going, to, going to drop down. So basically the way to increase the Lofinia orb is to make the enemies have a turn, but unable to act. Now we've had this in a previous Lofinia, I can't remember, was it Kieran's? No, no, no. It, I think it was um, uh, Camelonauts uh, Lost Chapter. I think that one also you needed to paralyze or do something with the boss to make sure they don't actually take any action during their turns. And that will increase the Lafinia Orb. So uh, again, paralysis is a, is a big thing here. Obviously, you can actually... Uh, use Edward again with the sleep that actually will really help here I'm starting to regret not actually pulling for him now that there's all these Lafinias where you can you have to you know uh, Kind of Paralyze I guess in air quotes or stun the enemy so they don't actually have uh, un They are unable to act during their turns now the biggest thing here is the bosses are actually immune to HP attack disable so you cannot use that um, for them to not be able to act so unfortunately you can't use Arciela or um, uh, Kefka uh, to you know um, sort of paralyze them in a way so the biggest thing is to paralyze and of course to uh, to use uh, sleep and I, I, I can't I'm having a blur moment here. I'm pretty sure Porom has a chance to confuse enemies. Uh, I just don't know whether it was attached to her LD. I think not. I just can't remember on top of my head. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with her cry ability. 
that it has a chance to actually inflict confuse I think it was uh, and that makes it so they don't have a turn <laughs> um, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that one but I feel like it it, it is um, ugh. I just can't remember really on top of my head but I'm pretty sure it's it, it's cry has a chance to uh, inflict uh, confuse or something uh, you do need her, I think you need her 15 CP weapon for it uh, but yeah it has a low probability but it is something you can use so they won't ha act, have an have a turn so yeah um, you can always correct me down in the comments below but I'm pretty sure it's Porum. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's number one in terms of something to look out for, which is just the Lafinia orbs. Uh, you do need to take into consideration the turn order and make sure they actually get a turn. Now, I do believe even if only one of them is paralyzed, both their Lafinia orbs counter will go up. So you do not need to have both of them paralyzed in order for the Lafinia orbs to, um, I guess, count up or regain the counter. So uh, having one of them is, having one of them paralyzed is enough. It's actually a good idea to have both their Lafinia orbs like up, up. So, you know, you, the counter is, is relatively the same and you can increase the um, counter, uh, Lafinia orb counter uh at the same time so yeah uh just be careful again you can just nearly really delete turns or delay in continuously they do have to have a turn so that's number one number two is the recast ability they actually hit pretty hard so uh, i would advise not taking back-to-back -back recast ability you can eat one of them for sure and then you heal through with rude it is quite possible to tank one of it um, you can always use warrior of light as well to reduce the amount of damage you're going to be taking um, and so is a whole lot other characters as well there's definitely a lot of characters that can sort of tank it and um, actually now that I think about it maybe Bosch can do it like you know she can he can probably take all the hits and she would probably survive and he's a character that I haven't used in a long long time I maybe maybe I should consider bringing him back to one of my videos but um, that is the second thing just not eating it back to back um, I guess the third thing which is kind of minor is to have a dispeller now the the bosses do have like a frame buff that they gain i can't remember on top of my head what they what they actually do but it's probably uh, great if your cloud has his world of illusions weapon which can um dispel those buffs so uh basically the passive will um the passive from his world of illusions weapon is great for dispelling at least one buff so they don't really have multiple buffs so only one buff so uh it, that's that's something like extra you can if you have will definitely definitely be very very helpful okay so now there's really nothing else for me to to talk about about the fight itself i think we've fought this uh, enemy so many times and every single time is with cloud having his awakenings is now his burst and what whatever we always fight these bosses when it comes to final fantasy 7 i'm actually getting bored at it i, I hope it, they actually have something different for final fantasy 7 bosses i'm sure there's other bosses that are very iconic other than the guard scorpion um, I'm kind of sick of it, but whatever. Anyway, this in terms of story time, I don't really have a lot to talk about since I'm still on night shift. Um, in terms of releasing for 
uh, Beatrix's Lost chapter should you pull? Uh, I honestly don't know when I'm gonna be able to do that. Uh, since, since I am doing this one first before that, I may do it tomorrow if I do feel like I have the energy for it. it maybe even tonight if I wake up earlier and I do feel like making it. It's just really hard to tell with night shift sometimes I like if I have a good shift I do have the energy for it if I have a terrible shift I just can't be bothered doing anything else so uh, it's very very hard for me to tell right now how it's going to be and how I'm going to feel um, maybe in hindsight I should do the should you pull video rather than the Slovenia fight but I, I still think um, doing these Slovenia fights is you know videos are you know are entertaining in a way and uh, most should you pulls are actually most people who watch it I think already know that they if they're gonna be pulling or not to be completely honest um, there's only very few people who actually really ask me questions regarding whether to pull, you know whether it's worth it or not a lot of people already like in the comment section you know, uh, already know that what, what if they're gonna be pulling or not. Uh, I believe so. Um, the, and those people who actually don't know and come to my channel don't really ask so much, too many questions, or I never really get direct questions from them. Um, you know, whether it's actually good to do this and do that or wait uh, and whatnot. Uh, uh, I, I hope it's because I answered their questions, right? That's the thing, like, I try to answer it at the end. Uh, hopefully that's the reason why they're not actually asking questions, but uh, I do feel like most of the time, most people already know if they're pulling or not. Um, yeah, uh, I guess the other thing is I can talk to you, talk to you guys about uh, an update on my JP account. Um, Honestly, I'm still having a wonderful time in JP. Um, I'm having such beautiful luck, and there's a lot of free resources right now in JP. Um, and I managed to get Eunice Burst, uh, and managed to get Shantoto's Burst now with the new banner. Uh, I, I can't. I don't think I got Noctis's Burst and Terra's Burst, which. I was actually going after. I did get both their LD, so I think I'll count my losses and maybe just give up on the burst. Um, I did get Shantoto's burst twice, which was pretty annoying, and I, I, I got Yuna's burst twice as well, which was pretty annoying. I did get um, Agrius's LD. I'm still not sure who I'm going to build up next uh, in terms of the next character I'm going to spend my character points on. Um, it's really I'm really really short on character points most of the time I use the character points just to upgrade the LD part of the character boards so yeah um, I never really got to the point where I max everything out except for Tifa um, but yeah uh, I, was, I wish there was a, a lot more points that they would be giving I know if you get the mog pass you get double the points but honestly I don't really want to spend um, some money on the JP side of things since I've already spent so much on the global side of things. Um, I think taking my money on one is, one game is enough, no, not two. Um, but yeah, I um, really, really, really hope that there's an alternative to increase your character to get to gain more character points. I guess um, that's pretty much it. Um, and if I didn't already said I I met I, I got Titus's burst as well. Um, I got his complete kit. I'm pretty happy. I'm managing to I'm managing to clear Nofinias. If you do follow me on Twitter, you know that I've recently be the, beaten the boss rush. Um, there's a new um, difficulty which I haven't really attempted because I want to attempt it when I'm a little bit more awake and actually can concentrate since it is a new difficulty I'm expecting I need some character boards on this one um, but yeah I'll just have to wait and see what it is um, it's pretty exciting stuff but I do have to wait a little bit 
uh, until I'm a little bit more awake. Anyway guys, I think I'll end the video right here. It's already gone longer than I thought. Um, yeah, remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help the channel and I really do appreciate it if you do. And you can, I, like I said, you can always follow me on Twitter on or on Facebook at Munchkins Gaming. Leave down in the comments below your team for this particular Lithuania. And yeah, let me know if you have a different strategy. This is Munchkins logging off. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next level.